I told you last week about local Little League. They lost thousands of dollars after a contractor they hired for some field renovations declared bankruptcy. Police have identified several other victims and say there could be more. News 10 ABC's Zion Dakota speaking with experts today to find out what you can do if you're in a similar situation. He joins us live in studio with the details. Zion. Good afternoon to you both. Enrollment got so high for the league that they needed an extra field. So they paid James Butler, owner of Trust Defense, a $5,700 down payment. To this day, no fence has been built as the company filed for Chapter 13 bankruptcy. I asked attorney Ryan McCall how likely the team is to get their money back. And it's usually very difficult to recoup any funds whenever somebody declares Chapter 13 bankruptcy. Little League President Scott Mullen says his attorneys told him he may only recoup pennies on the dollar at best. McCall agrees, saying it can be a slow road to see that money. Typically, you're going to be offered a payment plan, and you may begin to see installments maybe three or four or five years down the road. In a separate incident, Glenville police arrested and charged Butler with third-degree grand larceny for allegedly accepting $7,000 from a customer for work materials which he never purchased. According to the Better Business Bureau, trust defense is not accredited and has an F rating by the agency with 55 complaints spanning four years. How can you protect yourself from becoming a victim? Never paying in full up front. You should talk to the contractor about how you can split payments. Always pay with a credit card. Most credit card companies have protections in place should you run into um, a scam or fraud so they can help you get your money back. After our original story aired last week, James Butler called me and said he intends to do right and build a fence by March 25th. Scott Mullen's reaction? The fact of him trying to write himself on doing our fence for the Little League, we are pleased to hear that, just uh, not sure if it will actually happen. Now, Butler is set to appear in Glenville Town Court at a later date for that unrelated grand larceny charge. He is also being investigated by multiple police agencies across the Capital Region for similar circumstances. In the studio, Zion Dakota News 10, ABC.